Adventure Link. This is Science Di Mana Mana. In today's episode of Science Di Mana Mana, I bring you to one of the Malaysia Ramsar site named Kota Kinabalu Wetland. Kota Kinabalu Wetland is a mangrove swamp of about 24 hectares wide located only about 5 minutes drive away from the Kota Kinabalu city centre. The main objective of my visit today is to capture a few species of organism that inhabit the land to give a better perspective of the meaning of some few commonly used terminologies when people talk about the topic of ecosystem. what we can find. We also have tilapia. We have bakau minyak in our mangrove forest. This is the main stem. Let's look at the root. Okay, and let's go to the shoot. little tiny thing what is that it's spider okay so we have this fine species of spider in 
habitat, our mangrove forest. Hello, tiny spider. That's a species of crane, and they live in a group of the same species. This is population of grunts. Another spider. Another spider web. Can you see that? There's the crab slick. This. Can you see it's moving? That is a species of crab. They also have stork built kingfisher. So this is Bacau Minya. Okay, look at the leaves. It's long and pointy. Okay, Bacau Minya species. A lot of Bacomia species in the forest. In fact, it's a dominant species. It's long and pointy. Alright, look at the roots. The stem. And it grows very tall. Beautiful sunshine. The main source of energy for the green plant in this forest to make food. If you could see that moving tiny thing. Wow. Let's get into the hole. And come out again. a crab. If it's one, we call it species. But if they are living in a group and they have common characteristic, we call them a population of crab. Look, there are more crabs. Butterfly, yeah, we have butterfly in our mango forest. Rhizopora apiculata, the scientific name for Bacaumina, a species of Bacaumina. Dominant species in this mango forest. Rhizophora apiculata. In our mango forest, we also have spotted dove and white breasted water hen okay, this is the QR code oh, for the bird sound this is how it looks like the shape of the mangrove tree I know which type is this it probably the Rhizopora apiculata or the Bacau minyak it's bushy, round, big size, quite big, okay, and all of 
of the leaves are above the water none of the leaves is immersed in, is immersed under the water it's round and bushy now I will bring you to look closely inside the water there are population of mud whelks see it is resting on the riverbed I'm not sure whether it's alive or dead and there are lots of them very size big and small So found oyster and mussels. It's sticking to the wood. It's a population of oyster and mussels. And non-living elements in this ecosystem we have the air the sunlight the water the rocks and stones and the soil three different egrets we have great egrets me intermediate egret and small egret let's see whether we can find them okay I found Rhizophora mucronata another type of mangrove tree this one has a broad big leaves and also said it has flower We found an egret. It's further apart from where I stand. I think it's a intermediate egret. It's a population of Pacific Golden Clover. The body size a bit short, but this one a bit longer, a bit long leg. So I think it's a Pacific Golden Clover. It's a great egrets in action. Pretty grads. Yes. Wow, how lucky I am sitting tall.
for those of you who have no idea what's the meaning of Ramsar site, Ramsar is a wetland area that has been recognized internationally. There are more than 1,800 Ramsar area all around the world. And the first Ramsar area in Sabah was given a recognition on the 28th October 2008. And the biggest Ramsar area in Malaysia has an area of 78,000 hectares. The name Ramsa was adopted from the name of a city in Iran where the first Ramsa convention was held in the year 1971. What is the name of that animal? It was right above my head just now. It's still there. Coming soon. I was walking down and I look up and I see that python. There are two main types of mangrove trees in this wetland area. The first one is Rhizopora apiculata. The local name is Bakau Minyak. The second type we have in this area is Rhizopora nucronata or the local name we call it Bakau Kura. The component that we have in this forest, we have the trees and the animals, the egrets, uh, the mangrove trees, the grants, the python, the crabs, all of this creates balanced ecosystem. With all of this, I hope you have a better understanding about the meaning of the words habitat, species, population, community, and ecosystem. In future, I wish to be able to use these words properly and manage to communicate to the whole world what a wonderful wet forest we have here in Sabah, Malaysia. Till then, bye!